Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Unfortunately, I cannot join you all in New Sultan in person today, but as the British Prime Minister's trade envoy to Kazakhstan, I'm delighted to have the opportunity to speak to you during the opening of this prestigious industry event. The Department for International Trade and the British Embassy in New Sultan are delighted to support this 10th Mining and Exploration Forum in Kazakhstan. I thank the MENEX organizers for creating this event, which has proved to be an effective platform to facilitate dialogue between government and those involved in the mining sector business community over the last 10 years. It has indeed helped to develop a number of new partnerships and collaborations in Kazakhstan's mining and metals sector. In recent years, we have seen important developments in the sector. These include the launch last year of Kazakhstan's new mining code and the improved access to geodata. They also include Kazakhstan's new membership of the Committee for Mineral Reserves International Reporting Standards. This will increase investor confidence by promoting the highest standards in mineral resource reporting. We welcome Kazakhstan's adoption of these internationally recognized standards and of the country's commitment to the transparency and rules-based development of Kazakhstan's mining sector. Taken together, these developments will attract increasing levels of investment into Kazakhstan's mining sector in the coming years. With already 80% of Kazakhstan's mineral resources seen as underexplored and the need to continue to improve efficiency as well as reduce costs, there are huge opportunities to facilitate new and lasting commercial collaboration between our two countries. There are a number of UK mining companies already active in Kazakhstan, such as Rio Tinto and Central Asia Metals, as well as supply chain and consulting firms, including UK operations of FL Schmidt, MMD Sizers, SRK Consulting, Tensa, Wardell Armstrong, and Weir Minerals, to name just a few. We know that interest in Kazakhstan's mining sector is huge, and the Department for International Trade in London and the British Embassy in New York Sultan will continue to facilitate further cooperation. And that includes supporting digitalization in the mining sector and the Kazakhstan's Digital Kazakhstan program. This aims to bring innovation into the mining sector in order to drive efficiency, raise productivity, and to reduce costs. Innovation is the UK's DNA, and our own innovative mining supply chain and world-class R&D centres offer significant potential for UK-Kazakh collaboration in digital mines. Automation, optimization, and big data analytics are all on the table. Bilateral collaboration in such innovative areas is already happening. Two British companies, IntelliSense and Metalysis, already have agreements with Almaty Tech Gardens Park of Innovative Technologies to establish laboratories in the park. Through these, they will produce solutions for local companies to introduce, increase their efficiency and to manufacture high-value products. Should suitable opportunities and prospective partnerships arise, the UK's Department for International Trade also stands ready to facilitate three-way collaboration between the United Kingdom, Kazakh and third country companies to develop new mining projects. And let's not forget the role of UK Export Finance, the UK government's export finance organisation within the Department for International Trade. It's keen to finance projects in Kazakhstan for which it has a risk appetite of up to 2.5 billion pounds. UKEF can 
consider financing contracts worth at least five million pounds sterling and which have UK goods and services content worth only at at least 20% of the contract value. And it can also consider arranging loads and insurance in Tango. With the competitive interest rates it can bring to bear, UK EF's offer is a flexible and cost-effective option for you to consider. And on the subject of finance, I must welcome Kaza Tomprom's successful doing listing on the London Stock Exchange and the Astana International Exchange last November. This attracted global investment into Kazakhstan's mining sector using the strength of the city in London the world's leading centre for mining finance, to attract that global investor interest. We hope other Kazakh mining companies will follow their example. And as I close, I also want to mention the UK-Kazakhstan Intergovernmental Commission, the IGC. The sixth IGC will take place in the UK this autumn. It provides a government-to-government -government and business-to-business -business forum for the development of opportunities for UK-Kazakh cooperation. It has several bilateral working groups, including one on mining, which would welcome your engagement. The UK is very keen to support Kazakhstan in the development of its mining sector, our mining heritage and extensive and innovative mining supply chain makes the UK the mining partner of choice. The UK's Department for International Trade, including its British Embassy and your Sultan staff attending your event today, will continue to support UK companies and our Kazakh partners in growing your business and, of course, continue to support events such as Minex. We wish you all a productive and successful time at Minex Kazakhstan 2019. Thank you.